trust in Him. Alright, in uh, John 3.16, where the Bible says, The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave. Yeah, for God so loved the world. Yeah, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's what the Bible says in John 3.16. God is love, guys. God love you guys. My testimony is, I'm here by God's grace, to grace. I live by grace, by grace, to faith. I thank the Lord that we are here. Thank the Lord for blessing. Thank the Lord for health and wealth. Thank the Lord, I pray for everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, guide us and protect us. God say, you never leave us, never forsake us. We didn't see the little thing that you in the world. Because uh, I tell you one thing, I know, I don't believe in no Buddha, no Allah, no Furu. I believe in Jesus. There's power in Jesus' name. Every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. I don't want to, that's what the Bible says. Uh, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. God loves you guys, alright? If you need prayer, we can pray for you right now. It's never too late to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. No matter how old you are, even you're 60, or you're 80, even you're 100, it's never late to accept Christ. Today, the Lord and Savior. We're not going to wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow is not promised. Alright? Because you need Jesus right now. It's never late, never late to accept Christ. So if you want to accept Christ right now, here's the mic. We can pray with you. Uh, come to church, have fellowship, to grow with the Lord. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. God is love. And I'm happy, I'm happy that God loves us. What's your name, sir? My name is B.J. Tucker. I'm a gospel singer for Jesus Christ and Almighty God. All right, you, you can't take the mask off. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I'm a gospel singer for Jesus Christ and Almighty God. In John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all men shall know that you are my disciples if you have love one toward another. What the world needs now is love. I've seen so many drive-bys, I've seen so many killing in the schools. It's time to stop killing and start living. Living and living, why must we fight and kill each other? Brother, brother, we need to live in the league. With Jesus Christ in your life, you can turn life around. Turn it around, yeah. God told Noah, who was an alcoholic, but God used him. God can use anybody if you turn your life over to him. He built the ark, and when he built the ark, he took all of the people the same that never seen rain. Never in life did they see it, but Noah said it would be. And he built the ark, and they laughed in his face. But when God called Noah to go and take two of everything in the ark, that's when the rain came. But until that rain came, I'm here to tell you what God, Noah tried to tell the people. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, and you better get ready and bear this in my hand. But God said, no, that rainbow sign, he said it won't be water, but by your next time, oh, way back in the Bible days, no one the same people that was going to rain. They laughed at him, they paid him no mind, for their soul was lost and they were left behind. But when God rain began to pour, they knocked on the ark, they knocked on the door. But no one said, I'm sorry my friend, God is told you up and you can't get in. Get in while you can't get ready. The Lord say, now is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Today is the day of salvation. He said, any man hear my voice 
and hot not as hot, when he knock on the door of your heart and open the door, he'll come in and sup with you and you with him. Yes, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain and you better do better. And bear this in mind, we're living in the last days. Well, God said, well, a rainbow sign. God said, he said, he said, it won't be water. But by the time, prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ said, he's coming back again. You can call God a liar, and he gave his only begotten son to warn you of the last day to prepare yourself for his coming. In John chapter 14, verse 1, he said, Let not your heart be troubled. He said, If you believe in God, believe also in me. He said, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. When he came out of the grave, he said, I go away to prepare a place for you. And if I go away and pray a place for you, Jesus Christ said, I shall come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. In Thessalonians chapter 4, the last four verses, the dead in Christ when Jesus comes shall rise first. Then we are here that believe in Jesus Christ and remain. Shall be called up together to meet him in the air. And so shall we be here with the Lord forever. Wherefore, come with one another words. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in Jesus Christ shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Two things God can't do, and Jesus Christ can't do. He can't lie, and he can't fail, and he never failed me yet. And it's not a man, woman, or child on earth that believe in God and Jesus Christ can raise your hand and say you made it this far in life without God. Never could have made it, no, Lord, without you. Look back over your life. You've been through trials and tribulation. God brought you through it all. The footprints in the sand are not true. God had you by his hand. He carried you every step of the way. You would have lost it all. Now you see, if you're here today by the grace of God, but now you see how Jesus Christ and Almighty God have been there. Our family, but we never could have made it, Lord, Lord. Not this day or no other day without you. And for your family, a family pray together and stay together. And I want to say that for your family, my family, to God and to say to Jesus Christ. And we say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for us all. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. God bless you.